Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, New St. Augustine, 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East St. Augustine. I'm Philip Emma Aguale. Why must the inventor of the modern supercomputer that computes in parallel also be a research mathematician? The reason is that the research mathematician is taxed to figure out how to reduce her mathematical fiction to our physical fact. Parallel processing was first published as science fiction back on February 1, 1922. 67 years later, on July 4, 1989, that science fiction became non-fiction and that discovery of practical parallel processing changed the way we look at the computer and the supercomputer. It's a misconception that my research in parallel processed computational mathematics was graspable to the most brilliant mathematicians in the world, nothing could be further from the truth. To prove my point, a billion and a half persons use or share their knowledge across 10 billion videos posted on YouTube. At least a million of those videos were produced as scientific lectures with at least a thousand of those videos delivered by the top research mathematicians in the world. Yet, you will not find any video in YouTube other than mine, of course, in which a mathematician described the partial differential equations that he or she invented and described how he or she solved them across a new internet that is a new global network of processors. Back in 1989, it made the news headlines that an African supercomputer wizard in the United States had won the top prize in the field of supercomputing and won that prize for solving the grand challenge problem of supercomputing and for solving that problem across a new internet that is a new global network of 65,536 tightly coupled processors and won that prize for solving the grand challenge problem of mathematical physics and for solving it at the world's fastest speed. I am that Nigerian. I am that Nigerian supercomputer scientist that was in the news back in 1989. As a supercomputer scientist, I had to quantify my parallel process solution to the grand challenge problem as well as measure the new speeds of the physical experiments that I conducted across my new internet that was a new global network of 65,536 processors that were identical to each other and that were tightly coupled to each other and that were equal distances apart from each other. Without mathematical knowledge, supercomputing across millions of processors would be an unconstrained speculative science fiction. Mathematics is to science 
what paint is to art or what words are to literature the secret to my success as a supercomputer scientist was that my father Nemeka James Emma Agwale attended Christ the King College on Icha, Nigeria and attended that high school for the six years inclusive of 1942 through 47. With that level of education, my father was able to tutor me from the times table to solving the quadratic equation of algebra. The Earth's atmosphere is a sewer for pouring carbon dioxide. Each year, 38.2 billion tons of carbon dioxide are spewed into the atmosphere. That's five tons, or the weight of an elephant, of carbon dioxide emissions per person per year. 62 years ago, only 9.2 billion, billion tons of carbon dioxide were spewed into the Earth's atmosphere every year. The top three carbon polluting countries are China, United States, and India. If the Earth gets warmer by 2 degrees Celsius or 3.6 degrees Fahrenheit, some species will become extinct. Sea level will rise one and a half feet by the year 2100. And some small island nations could be destroyed with hundreds of millions of refugees becoming displaced. Parallel processing is the crown jewel of extreme scale computational physics. The parallel processed solution of any grand challenge initial boundary value problem is at its mathematical core. It's at its mathematical core, a clarion call to solve the largest system of equations arising in algebra that in turn was derived as an approximation of a companion system of partial differential equations of calculus. Nine times out of ten, that algebraic grand challenge also underpins an extreme scaled computational fluid dynamics code that in turn contains the basic discovery of practical parallel processing that I made on the 4th of July 1989. In his White House speech of August 26, 2000, then US President Bill Clinton described my discovery of practical parallel supercomputing as the Philip Emma Aguale formula that enables computers to make fast calculations. Insightful and brilliant lecture.